Hey, my name is Rustin with Fine Pigtails, and uh, today we are going to do a uh, video on a deep pin and repin of a connector. So we'll go ahead and do a, a deep pin repin of our L41A2 connector. This is going to be used for all your late model Hondas, um, fog lamp. It's one of the options for a horn. Um, with this one, you have no secondary lock to remove. It's just the actual connector housing itself, and then the built-in catches. So what you got to do on this one, it is a little bit harder because the catch has only got a couple spots where you can grab. So I'm going to take my small screwdriver, this little 1.0, and I'm going to just make contact with the pin on the bottom of it, slide all the way down to one side, down in there, and as I feel it stop, that's right at the catch, pull that catch down, and then we're just going to pull that pin out the back. And you're basically releasing that catch while you're holding the catch, you then slide the pin out. If you let go of the catch, of course, you're going to be able to remove it. So same deal, make contact with the bottom of the pin, go over to one side, slide down, I feel it stop, pull that catch down while I'm holding the catch down, pull that pin out the back, just like that. So from here, if you've done your splicing, solder the wires, uh, we can go ahead and reinstall them or um, if you're you know, reinstalling the factory wires actually, which is always your best option if you can. So you got the back of your connector here, just run your pin, make sure it's oriented correctly where the catch will grab. Once we push it back in place, you'll hear the click. Once you hear that click, you know that it's installed and locked in. Same deal here. Once you hear that click, then you give the wires a little tug. Make sure that everything's locked in position. Make sure that your catches are sitting flush up against the uh, pin and uh, you're ready to go.